Hi there, welcome to Damien Rx Care channel where we talk about medications and how to use them properly. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. That way you're able to help support our community here at Damien Rx Care. Also, that way you're able to get more alerts anytime we post other informative videos as well. So today we'll be talking about fluconazole. So fluconazole is also known as diflucan. It's a common yeast infection medications that patients use, and it's used in treating vaginal candidiasis, which is also known as the vaginal yeast infection, oral candidiasis, which would be an oral yeast infection. It can also use, be used in cryptococcal meningitis in patients who have HIV, as well as patients who are using it for post hemodialysis to kind of prevent any um, risk of yeast infection that the patient may have due to the dialysis treatment. So for the sake of time, we'll be talking about the vaginal candidiasis dosing. So this is a one-time um, pill single dose that patients usually take. I've seen some patients take one tablet um, on the day of the treatment as well as repeat it after about two to three days if they're still feeling those um, side effect from the infection or symptoms of the infection. Also, some patients who have um, reoccurring yeast infection, they, um, the doctor will write them more than one dose to kind of keep them covered in the meantime, just in case that yeast infection comes back. All right, so it's usually a 150 milligram, like I said, um, single dose. And so what are some of the side effects that patients notice with fluconazole? Uh, a side effect would be nausea as well as headache. It can cause dizziness, um, abdominal pain. It can cause diarrhea, indigestion, as well as taste perversion. So I've seen patients complain about their taste bud kind of um, feeling weird after they're um, um, done taking fluconazole. So that's just something that happened for maybe a day or two after you take the fluconazole. It's not something that happens for a longer period after using the medication, all right? So what are some severe um, side effects that you should be looking out for? So if you um, have any um, severe skin reaction from taking fluconazole, you wanna make sure you tell your doctor immediately. That way they can note it on your medication record, as well as make sure that you stop that medication and give you a medication to help reduce that skin reaction, such as rash. Another um, severe side effect is liver problems. So usually this is not very common unless the patient has like an underlying liver condition, like liver failure or liver injury um, before taking the medication. So this can kind of increase those chances if you already have like a um, previous liver con um liver issue or liver problems. And also this medication can cause changes in heart rhythm. Um, this doesn't happen to everyone. Um, just in case, um, if you're worried that other medications that might cause heart rhythm problems are, are being uh, taken as well, then you wanna make sure that you reach out to your pharmacist or your prescriber to make sure there's no interaction with the fluconazole. So the fluconazole will increase that side effect if you're already on other medications that can cause changes to your heart rhythm. Um, the medication by itself most likely won't do that except if you're taking a large number of dose or and for a longer period. All right, so what should you know while taking this medication? So fluconazole can be taken with, uh, with or without food. You wanna make sure you take it with a full glass of water. Uh, the medicine is not recommended in pregnant patient. So usually we'll tell patients you wanna avoid getting pregnant within one week after you take your last dose of fluconazole. Also, this medication can interact with a lot of other medication because of the way the enzyme substrate of the medication is. So medications such as phenytoin, um, glyburide, glipizide can interact with fluconazole. So you wanna make sure that you're, like I said, informing your pharmacist and making sure that they're running those interaction um, to make sure that this medication would not cause any other interaction with the other medications you're already taking if you have other conditions. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to gain one or two insight about the medication. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button in order to support our community once again. Thank you and have a good one.